Wednesday, August 1st, 2018. Hey, you made it. Let's see what we got today. National Girlfriends Day. Go hang out with the girls. National Respect for Parents Day. Yeah, that's gone out the window. National Raspberry Cream Pie Day. Blech, okay. National Minority Donor Awareness Day. You just need to be a donor. Doesn't matter if you're a minority or not. Although minorities, they need more of them for donors. And National Startup Day. Yeah, that's right. Start up a business day. Yeah. Soon, soon, soon. If everything seems under control, you're not going fast enough. Mario Anzaretti. If everything seemed under control, you're not going fast enough. I would say there's a number of cigar smokers out there that are just absolutely prima donnas. Yep. You heard me say it. You're a bunch of tweeb, snowflake, smoking non cigar. You know. Anyway, what do I mean? About a month ago, now maybe even six weeks ago. Yeah, six weeks ago, I introduced you to this cigar the Dark Shark. Some of you actually went and tried it and heard nothing but great stuff. A couple people I know gave me a bunch of lip service but never tried it and said, how can a cigar that cheap be any good? Well, kiss my ash. I can find you buck and a half, two buck, three buck cigars that taste better than any of those quote-unquote Cuban top-of-the-line, you know the brand names that are 20 and $25 a stick and put them to shame. But half the time, you just want to do lip service and never even want to try it. My question is, can't you even smoke it and try it? Or are you that much of a fraidy cat, little baby girl? Sorry, women. Just a little baby. Anyway, somebody back there is not real b trying to be a little bit uh, non-restless today or restless. I'm not sure. But you see, you got to think about this. If everything seems under control, you're not going fast enough. And that's what I mean about this subject. If you're not out trying other cigars, if you're not out, I mean, God, there's 140,000 different cigars to try. And that's not including like, you know, CAO flat top or flathead that's got five flatheads. I'm just talking about like flathead or Brazilian or USA or Dark Shark or Schizo, 140,000 of those, not including the multiples from that. So don't give me any lip service. Why do you think I try to do it over and over again? This one's been in the humidor for six weeks. To me, it's coming out even better than before. Yeah. You know, this has got a very 
what I would consider mellow Maduro, but very sweet, rich flavors to it. And when you can get 20 cigars for right around $30, what are you telling me? Exactly. Now, the price is going to vary some places because of the state taxes on the stick. But come on. You got a Connecticut broadleaf wrapper that's Maduro. It comes out of Honduras, and the filler comes from Nicaragua. Now, my question is, is it going to be worth the $30 or less chance on cigars? If you don't like them, what do you do? You give them away to all the people that you don't like. I know you guys. I know who you are. I know you do it all the time. You don't believe me? <laughs> I got guys that come over here and smoke with me and want to know why I'm giving them the top of the line stuff that I smoke. Because I want them to try it. I want them to enjoy it. I want them to be part of the cigar life. Not having to scrounge around for leftover backwoods. Now, nothing wrong with smoking a few backwoods now and then. I've done it myself. But I tell you what, when you got to go out and stand on the corner and ask for two bucks just so you can buy one. Exactly. <sighs> My question is, why aren't you? going faster. Why aren't you moving around? If everything is 100% under control, maybe you're not moving at all. Maybe you're not trying at all. You see, try more. Try a lot more. You see that little tag on there? Dot sack. Yeah, you're not trying enough. Oh, I love this cigar. I just... <clears throat> Do you eat a Big Mac every day because you love Big Mac? You eat it for every meal? So why are you smoking the same cigar for every time you smoke a cigar? You might enjoy it, but there's got to be more than just one cigar you enjoy in the world. And my question is, get off your butt and take care of it. Get off your butt, get as fast as you can go, and enjoy the world. You can keep it under control at 190 miles an hour. Trust me, Mario Andretti does. Anyway. I just can't get this through people's head. You got to try it. You got to do it. And again, smoke what you like. Like what you smoke. And above all, kick some ash. <laughs>